right. Yo. Yeah, you're here with, <laughs> here with Brain and Dave, Talking Shop Podcast. Yep. Up at uh, DW right now. So, uh, how'd, this start, uh, how'd, how'd we get here? Uh, what happened? Well, me, uh, me and you and Scott were having, right. we're right. having burgers the other night, but at Plan Check. At Plan Check. Um, yeah. The best burgers in town, and uh, and uh, I should get paid for that. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we were just dorking out at my studio. Yeah, and uh, we're here to talk about pedals today, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, so how did you uh, like? What was you know? What was your? How, how did you start like getting into <laughs> getting into pedals? <laughs> getting, well, <laughs> I, I I didn't have a pedal when I first started. You were just no, my teacher. My teacher was like, "Dude, you have to learn how to play without a pedal." So I sat there on the ground and tapped, you know, and just like. Was it like yeah. you were on a practice pad and just do your hands, and then you get a pedal when you know what you're doing? Yeah, exactly. That's so boring. Well, it was it was interesting because it it made it so like when I got a pedal, it was like whoa, right? Yeah, this is like you know. So I still kind of practice when I'm in hotel rooms and stuff, and or if how I'm on old tour, were you? Mm, I think uh, like around 15. Started kind of late. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't even have a pedal. So it was kind of interesting for a while, you know, because it was pad, pedal. How long did you thing. do that before until you got a pedal? Uh, I'd say probably six months. Dude, that, that, that would not fly today. If I had a student <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you can just play on a pad for six months and then you get a bass drum pedal, they'd be like, I'm not doing this. Right, right. <laughs> but it was, it's, it was weird because, you know... Um, you know, you ha- it would just, you would get used to, like, it was like tap dancing. Sure. You know, so, yeah. and then yeah, when, yeah. you know, so, yeah, it was interesting, but that's how I started, you know, wow. that thing. So he was just like, just play on the floor? Yep. Just, yeah, wow. just play on the floor. And, you know, like, samba patterns, he had me doing, you know. Being... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like dancing, and then, you know, I got, I had that Tony Williams thing going mm-hmm. on the hi-hat, mm-hmm. little kick mm-hmm. things, and this cr- kind of stuff. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's how I started. Whoa. But uh, now you can have your students. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it, it's actually rad. Floor. It actually really because when when you ha- if you can do that, then when you know it was like, I can't dance have... to save my life though, you at can't. all. No, I'm yeah. like the whitest dude on on the planet. Like, so what pedal did you start with then? Oh God, uh, man. My first kit was a CB700 Max, like, <laughs> M-A-X-X. Right. Like $300, just total piece of garbage. I beat the brakes off that kit. Oh, really? I remember I didn't even understand how hardware works, so it had like a pearl tube mount, and I bought like a Tama L-Arm Tom stand. <laughs> so it like didn't even work, so I like wrapped a washcloth around the L-Arm and just like jammed it in the, <laughs> jammed it in the hole just to kind of try and make it work. Yeah, but I'm sure I had some garbage, some garbage pedal that came with that. And then, uh, and I had, I think I had like some 80s Tama pedal. Right. And then I got like a, an Iron Cobra. And I was playing so much double bass in high school. Like I tightened the spring tension so much that it, the nut, like the washer got stuck. Right, right. Like, because it was kind of recessed and it like clicks in and it got stuck all the way tight right and i couldn't loosen it uh so yeah so i got used to like really tight spring tension and then and then i got a 9000 whenever they came out right and uh and i was just like oh my god i can't believe i played that horrible tama pedal it felt like a brick right so you you didn't even try i think 5000 when i actually got a pedal it was uh that was was speed king it was because oh, Bonham and yeah, the whole yeah, thing yeah. when I actually was like, okay, I get a kick. Because my friend had that Octoplus, the yep. orange one with mm-hmm. the eight through, oh, sick. you know, whatever. Like a mod orange? Yeah, it was that. It, it was a Bonham orange, but it was the Octoplus. I oh, had never like a seen Vistalite, it. you mean? The Vistalite, oh, yeah. Okay, and they yeah, called yeah. it the Octoplus. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he had a Speed King. So I was like, Dad, I got to get, you know, like whatever. And so I had that thing for a while. And then I saw an ad in, I think it was like Modern Drummer or whatever of like, um, DW, you know, right. and it was mm-hmm. like, and uh, yeah, what year is this? Like, I mean, I'm not gonna talk about that. <laughs> that's uncool, dude. Um, but uh, yeah, Before so, my time. but it was weird because, um, you know, I remember 
that the 5,000, it, it seemed to me like it was, it was rad because when I, when I came from, you know, this weird kind of squeaky metal thing mm -hmm. to something, that, you know, a little more high tech, mm -hmm. it was like, oh, I get it. You know, I can do that quiet riot stuff, you know, <laughs> you know, or whatever, or the right. bottom solo with right. the because right. see, I never did double bass. Right. Yeah, I never did it, and so I always had to just, you know, with yeah. try to get that with one foot. Right. So when I finally got the the five thousand, I was like, oh. But boy. you feel like you feel like the pedals this, before that were kind of just like. It was like everything before that, and then the five days. It just came was. Out. It was, was like, oh, game. I get it now. You know, yeah. I mean, I played with. You know, of course, I played for a long period of time with like crap. Right. You know, when that came out, yeah. Cause, you know, because all the the hardware and all that stuff with DW was the stuff that I was into. You know, yep. whether even if I had another drum kit, mm -hmm. I still had that DW stu uh, hardware. Yeah. Because it was like, it was, it was the best stuff. So. You know, so that's, yeah, so it was weird, but um, but with that one, I could just fly, you mm -hmm. know, so. Yeah, and it's funny, like, because comparatively, like, now the pedals are so much more advanced. Like, <clears throat> like I remember uh, when I, you know, got the, ever anyone asked me about pedals, I'm like, I love the 9000. It's the greatest pedal ever. Yeah, like, that's what I got now. Yeah, yeah. like, I, I've used them on tours, like, and I really really beat the crap out of them like stomping on them and they're yeah you could throw them off a building they're like indestructible yeah yeah the 9000 <clears> is i mean but um but i you know i switch up it like depends like i'll do some gigs where i'll have to play really quiet i'm, mm -hmm. I'm talking you're tapping the kick drum like like you know you're tapping a i can't say it <laughs> or, or petting a i'll just go like this but um <laughs> But uh, that quiet. So like, I have a three thousand, right? You uh -huh. know, and and I'll play flat footed. Uh -huh. And it's like, because the nine thousand, I feel like it's too, it's too, it's almost too quick. I can't mm -hmm. control, even though it's 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 got all the control. I like the three because it just it feels like you know like this old like school. That. Yeah, yeah. And um, so I have that. I and then I keep the five thousand. You know, I have all of them. And but uh, but the nine thousand is what I use now. Because of what you're saying, I mean, I could stomp it. It's never, bro you know. I think I've broken a couple of the five thousand plates, you know, uh -huh. like with playing with Primus and stuff, or doing like, you know, I have to show off because there's some hot chick on the side of the stage <laughs> watching. But um, she's paying attention to your bass drum technique. <laughs> no, I am. But, <laughs> yeah. So, but um, yeah, it's weird because I, I switch up. You know, I mean, I do. Like, if I go to a gig, I'll ha I'll bring all three. You know. Really? So, yeah. Wow. Yep. Because you never, you know, because I'm doing a lot of soundtrack work now because mm -hmm. I'm the heavy and you're <laughs> yeah. still in rock. <laughs> but, um, so, you know, it depends, you know, I mean, some cues are just like so quiet, you know, it's like yep. ambient stuff. And yep. then it's like, okay, now we got the battle scene, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm like, hold up, let me switch up some stuff. Sure. And, yeah. Sure. So it's, it's, you know, Can the options are, are the, are, you know. I'm the opposite. I used to use the 9000 for everything. Everything. Yeah. I just, I've had the same pedal for years, actually, like, and every once in a while I'll have to bring it in to get, like, a tune-up or something from, like, just throwing it around and, like, you know, just, you know, getting some stuff swapped out, but, I mean, I've had the same 9000 single pedal for years. Wow, what's your vibe? I mean, as soon as you get out of the box, you just literally, like, it's, just, yeah, it's, it's, it's perfect for you, or you, like, tune it up? No, or like... you know what's funny is they have so many adjustments on them, which is rad. Um, but the only thing I do is I tighten the spring tension like three quarters of the way. Right. And then I pull the beater all the way up. That's it. Oh, you really? Yeah. That's weird Kinda because like, I, I do about an inch. Yeah, I might. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I, I'm, about an inch. I might leave like I, that much really? on the underside. Yeah, I like so having you, what, a So what if you have a smaller kick? You're hitting on the top of the kick? Uh, I never play a smaller kick because I'm a man. <laughs> okay, the heavy. <laughs> So, well, what size? So it's like on a 22, you actually have, or 24 you play? Yeah, usually a 24. So on a 24, you actually have it about a quarter inch. Because even on a 24, I, I find that, well, I guess on the 9,000 though, I mean, I do you adjust it differently if, if you like if have playing, tried a lighter If I'm lighter playing pedal? like an 18 or a 20, which never happens, but I'll lower the, the beater, but almost never. Like otherwise a 22 or a 24. I mean, if 26, you just can't hit the center of the drum anyway. You know? Right. It's too big. <clears throat> but 
Yeah, I just like all the. It's more about the weight. I like all the throw. Right, right. Yeah, I get it. You get yeah. a lot of power that way. Yeah, because I and yeah, because that's interesting. Because I was always wondering, you know, when I when I take those every, I'm kind of lame that way. You know, I know you're more anal about all the adjustments and stuff, but I I literally I just take them out. I don't think I've ever adjusted one. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I yeah. serious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny is like when I first got a nine thousand. I was like, yeah, like, oh, I'm gonna do this and that, and I like adjusted everything, and I and it got so out of whack that I had to bring it back up here and be like, hey, can you guys just reset this? Because right. it was like unplayable. Right. Like I just totally screwed up the whole pedal. <laughs> like it was just like felt all weird, and uh, so yeah, you can get overboard with the adjustments. Like so, I don't even, I don't even do anything. I mean, like I said, I just tighten the spring tension and and pull the beater up. That's it. And then what's uh, what's up with those uh like those new like titanium super thin plate? Oh yeah, the, not, uh, I have the um they do the direct drive ones. Right. Right. So instead of having like a strap or a chain, it's like a solid piece of aluminum. Yeah, see I don't think I I, I never It's aluminum, right? Yeah. Scott, okay, I yeah. need one of those, please. <laughs> so Jeez, man, I I'm can't do the maxed out. I can't do the direct drive pedals. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played one of those? No. No, it's like it has way too much lope to it. Like, the, oh, there's it, like a little like there's like a yeah, exactly. It goes like, eh, like and a, then it goes over at the end. Yeah, like a ten millisecond delay. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. All. yeah. It's yeah. like really hard to push, and then it, at the end it goes over. Like, I get it if you're. I feel like they're really good if you're playing really slow and you're just hammering something. Right. Or your death metal guy and your beater's really close to the head and you're playing really right, really fast. But anything in the middle, it, like it's it's just. I couldn't make it. Yeah. Some people love them. I just couldn't make it work. But I got the one with the chain, the MCD, and um, it's the same exact pedal. just has a chain drive, um, and that pedal feels amazing. Um, it's actually a little bit too fast for me, though. Like, when I'm playing, because people always just say that, like, oh, I'd be like, oh, I love the 9000s. They'd be like, oh, I have to play the 5. The 9 is too fast for me. And I'd be like, what are you talking about? Right. It doesn't even make any sense, you know? I was like, the 5 is really heavy. Like, it's too, too slow. And then when I got this MCD pedal, I was like, oh, man, I can't wait to get this. And then I started, I would, like, get ahead of the pedal. I was like, oh, I guess I, right. I kind of see what they mean now, you know? Like, I just, that 9000 is just the greatest pedal ever. Like, yeah. Yeah, because I noticed, you know, I mean, I, I've noticed with, uh, um, I mean, you, I think we hung out that one day, and I was, I think it was, like, when Vinny was playing with, uh, who's that, like, Tom Scott? That's that the... Uh, the horn player. I don't it was remember. Way back in the day, well, he was playing at this show, and I in in the Bay Area, and I got to sit behind. I knew the guy that the yeah. yeah. So I was watching, and I was watching him. He would stick the beater in, uh -huh. and I was telling you that yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I was doing. You're trying to get me to play knock off. It off. Yeah, yeah. Because what? But what I realized with like the five thousand is you know because now the, the age of digital audio and Pro Tools and mm -hmm. that whole thing is mm -hmm. like. You know, you get the little flutter, mm -hmm. you know, with the... Yeah, you we were talking about that at your studio. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. like it's so hard to not get like a little flutter mm -hmm. on... Because, you know, when you start going into that sample accurate editing mm -hmm. and or triggering mm -hmm. the sounds, mm -hmm. even that little flutter is going to mess up your whole vibe, oh, yeah. you know, for engineers or whatever. So it was like, I was really cognizant of like what pedal... The 9000, if I stuck it in, I would never get that flutter but with really? the five i do because i think it's it's a heavier pedal yeah, uh -huh. so i would dig in deeper mm -hmm. but um i think that yeah for like the slickness i think yeah mainly the 9000 is i think my go-to yeah you know because of that because We're, i just started in that age of digital audio it's like each pedal even affected the way the beater hits the head and stuff yeah yeah but now everyone can just like sound replace everything <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but having the little flutter there, the computer goes, oh, is that a hit? And then yeah. it's a total yeah, pain yeah, yeah. for everybody. Yeah. But, but uh, I, I brought that that MCD pedal, the double pedal over when I was doing that soundtrack, oh, that that's Death Race thing. Right. Yeah. That double pedal that I left at your studio for like a month. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was the MCD pedal that I was that's, talking about. No, that thing was sick. Yeah. 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 You love that pedal. Oh, okay. Right. Got I, guess. I feel like I'm just, you know, I'm the brown guy, so I get, the, I get it. I have to edit that one out. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, no, 
Oh, but that's okay. It's, they're my people. Yeah, no, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was the pedal I, that was at okay. your studio. So what's what's? Yeah, you remember you didn't want me to take it back. I was like, right, dude, I gotta grab okay, that pedal. Right, You're like, no, yeah. no, no, you don't. It's cool. I'll just, I'll keep it. It's right. fine. I was like, no, I gotta use it like for something. Like you're like, no, no, it's fine. Yeah, don't yeah. worry about it. No, that thing was sick, dude. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. So what's the? I don't get it then. From the the night from the, when you what is that? What was different about it? Like I don't. Besides that, it was I was digging it but what was everything's like? everything's just way more streamlined way lighter there's a lot less oh, like okay. um it's a lot more efficient like um it's yeah. just a, it's like it's like going from the five to the nine is like going from the nine to the mcd basically oh okay way thinner footboard like right i actually because the the mcd pedal comes with like a, a different beater where you can like put those weights in it i don't know if i don't even know if you saw that you can like uh, maybe yeah, I think I did. I think yeah. You I can like unscrew that. the the head of the beater and put like these brass weights in it. Um, but I just put the regular DW beater on it. I thought it felt better. Right, right. More weight. Yeah, because I remember it was super clean. Yeah. I mean, just it was like whatever your foot was doing, yeah. it just followed. Yeah. It wasn't like you had to work the pedal. It yeah. was like it just took your. It was like you know an extension of your foot, mm -hmm. like a, in a way. Yeah. 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 So like, yeah, yeah, that thing was sick, man. Yeah, because that was, and the linkage is all, is all. Actually, I I noticed that too. I did like, I'm such a nerd. I would even though I barely play double bass anymore. Like, <clears throat> I took like the linkage from the nine thousand double pedal because I still have the nine thousands at my studio, and I took that off, and then I took the linkage from the MCD pedal because it's all like super like pimperish, like over-engineered, like it's not going to soak up as much <laughs> right, right, energy right, right, from yeah. the slave pedal, you know? Right. So I swapped out the linkage. I put like the MCD linkage on the 9000 pedal just to like see. Right. And it actually made like a, a difference, like way smoother and way faster. Like you don't like lift the pet left pedal off and the beater's like. Right, right. right? It's Flopping, like it right. actually like moves. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? What is the, what are you using that on your uh, um, new, the gig you're doing now? Oh, the night game? Yeah. No, definitely no double bass on the night right, game. Right, but you're using, but you're using the half of the other, or what pedal are you using? I'm for using that? the nine thousand. Oh, you are. Yeah. Just the nine thousand. So yeah. That's your pretty much your go-to. I'm that. using the nine thousand, nine thousand single pedal, a and all and all ultralight hardware. Because that ultralight hardware is amazing. Yeah, I amazing. saw that dude, when I was when I came here. I was like that yeah. in that little bag, and yeah. it all just kind of yeah. fit. Cause, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, I don't play around town very often. Like I mostly just do tours. Like yeah. same thing with you. Yeah. So like I'm like lugging my own gear around, which <laughs> which sucks. And so I'm like have these all these stands, and I was using six thousand stands, uh, which aren't heavy. They're great. And then my buddy Mario Caleri told me about the ultralights, and I hit pretty hard. So I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work. And I got them, and you can fit everything in a bag and like put it over your shoulder. Yeah, I saw that, but I was I was asking you about like, man, dude, are you just gonna knock this over? No, they don't fall and... over. It's really? crazy. And you're pounding. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I, I saw some hard. of the videos you yeah. had online, and I was like, and that's that that's the ultralight stuff. Yeah, wow. it's amazing. I actually like taking a handful of the stands and throwing them at someone because they go ah, <laughs> <laughs> they like really like, right. like the fl aluminum floor tom legs. No one knows DW makes those. Right. Those are those are amazing. I do that at sessions all the time. I'll take out a fistful of those legs and just throw them at someone. Yeah, and, and I'm one like, of those people <laughs> that I'm one of those people that don't know because Scott doesn't give me anything anymore. I get Scott, it. So. Come on, man. Got to get the aluminum floor tom legs. But yeah, those yeah, that ultralight hardware is amazing. I throw everything on a little duffel bag, put it over my shoulder, and it's all right, right there. I might have like a. I think I have like a six thousand. From stand for my ride because it's a heavy ride, like a 23, it's a little heavier. And then I have like a 9700L, like a big heavy boom stand on the left for the uh, Roland SPDSX, right? Because you need a heavy stand to clamp that, right? <clears throat> that onto if you have like a light stand, it'll just fall over, right? But other than that, so that ultralight hardware is so if I was because you know. I want to take some double bass lessons from you because I did, <laughs> you know, or whatever. Well, yeah, when you I mean, get which back one? Playing. I mean, like they, they do. I mean, did they make a five thousand double bass? I mean, right? I mean, yeah, I've of seen, course. But you, the nine thousand is the one to get. That's yeah. Whenever I tell, whenever I have students that I'm asking me about pedals or whatever, I'm always like, hey, that nine thousand pedal is incredible. Yeah. Like 
it's a personal thing, but like, yeah, that's, I mean, like I said, like I've, I mean, I've, I've gotten, you know, a few different ones over the years, but like that single pedal's like my trusty, trusty pedal. The only thing I've ever, cause I let the beater come off so I don't break footboards. Cause like that only happens when you dig the beater in, you know? So you've never, you've never like just the only time kept it in. I, no, I, I, ever. That sounds horrible. Cool. Really? Yeah. Sounds terrible. So you're going to tell Vinny, don't do Vinny it. Vinny can do whatever he wants. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, no, that's a... where I got it from. I mean, he would stick it, the boom. Yeah, a lot of people do that. And it would just stick. So when you're doing a quick double, like, da da, or you just if you're doing back it really, off. If you're doing really fast doubles, yeah. it's kind of impossible to not dig it in. Right, doing right. Really fast doubles. But, uh, but other than that, I play off. If you have a bunch of pillows and a giant hole in the front, like Vinny, Usually does like, right. It doesn't matter. Doesn't then make it doesn't any, matter. Doesn't right, make any right, difference, right. you know. But uh, I did this. Uh, um, uh, I I taught this dude who's a big Nashville session drummer a few months ago, and he wanted to go deep into the technique stuff, and and I was like, I was like, okay, let me hear you play, you know. And he's a great player, <clears throat> and I was like, oh, you're digging the beater in. And he's like, oh, that's what I do. Like, I, I know I'm doing it. Like, it's right. just an, it's an aesthetic decision. And I was like, that's cool. Like, you know, and then like five minutes later, he was like, oh, my God, I can't believe I played on that many hit records. Like, believe in the beater, leaving the beater. And it makes right. such a huge difference, like sonically, you know? Yeah. What's your vibe with the, uh, you know, the like, what side do you, you know, I remember when I got the, you know, the beater, I was like, oh, man, like you can, you know, you a double sided, yeah, double sided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's the dopest thing yeah, ever, yeah. you know, because I was like. I just always had that little, you know, yeah, the yeah, mallet yeah. Yeah, yeah, type yeah. thing. I and then when much, DW, I was like, oh man, that's like, yeah. I pretty much always use the black plastic side, but if it's like something more vibey, like some singer songwriter right. thing or some jazzy thing, I'll definitely turn it around to the felt. For yeah, sure. I do the same thing. I mean, I'm always using the the, the black plastic and yeah. di and digging it in and <laughs> doing all the wrong stuff or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but that's. I'm kind of old school in that way. Like I know DW makes a lot of different beaters and stuff, and um, but I just love old the old blacky. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the one I have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just I don't really pay attention to a lot of. it. I mean, I know, I think that's why we, you know, I'm always like wearing you out to a nub <laughs> if I see something cool or you yeah, know, yeah. especially like on the these pedals, and I'm like, what's the what, dude? What you know? If I see somebody with like you know, or even in Scott's office just now, yeah. seeing some of those prototypes, you know, I'm always yeah. like texting what? you like dude what, what's up with this that and that so <laughs> yeah because i'm a, i'm kind of like you know I, I mean i open the box i put it on yeah and it just it's great yeah that's and i'm done yeah i've never i think took out uh yeah. you know and no i'll come over to your studio and i'll be and like anything. i'll be like dude when was the last time you you changed these heads you're just like oh that's cool like, <laughs> it sounds good <laughs> why <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sounds great. Yeah, you're yeah, going yeah. for that, you know, '70s dead <laughs> tone. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was because uh, when when Primus was doing that gig or whatever with uh, where we had Stuart Copeland do, uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. he produced some of our songs. Yep. He, he hadn't played in years, and uh -huh. so his drum tech brought over um, his that that kit, the police kit, yeah, you yeah. know, that one or whatever, and uh, he changed all the heads. And then Stuart walked in. It was like, who oh, and changed it? I'm firing. I just yeah, really, was, yeah, yeah. It's like I haven't changed those heads in like yeah. Like uh, and it was his years. own tech. No, it was our, it was oh, the tech, my tech had oh, changed, thinking no. like, oh, I'll hook them up. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. So after that, I was like, yeah, I'm never gonna change. If it works for him, I'm gonna do it. But yeah. no, but I've always been that kind of a guy. I mean, I think that's why, you know, it's great. Like, you know, like talking to you about this stuff because you know you you get in there and you know i mean it helps me learn too or whatever about you know all the stuff because i think that you you try it all you know you'll adjust it try it and go nah that yeah. doesn't work dude yeah. yeah i'm just like oh you know yeah, i never thought of that yeah or you what? just there's like never oh. of what <laughs> what never thought of what <laughs> whatever <laughs> <laughs> that, that you actually try it yeah and then you're you actually like, go nah. back and go oh yeah 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 you're, yeah, you're always just like yeah, this it's, is it's good r&d yeah. Yeah, yeah you know you're fine. doing Right. Yeah. No, I never, yeah, I never, it's weird because it all just works great. I mean, all their, the hardware, the hi-hat, the hi-hat's the greatest, you know, I just put it up and just like, oh, it works great. 
But, yeah, that's yeah. the that's why DW's like DW because the I mean the whole company's built on the on the hardware and the pedals. It was the pedals before the drums, you know. I thought so, it was because Scott's a good looking man. <laughs> he is a good looking guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we, we, we need Scott in here with this vibe. Yeah, that was the I know, trio. I yeah, know. The, the the triangle of power. We'll have to get, we'll have to get him here. <laughs> we'll have to get him on the next episode. <laughs> yeah, you can't see him. Yeah, he's, he's here hiding in the shadows. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. So we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing a few more of these at some point. I don't know when, but yeah. you know, make sure to check up on the DW social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that all stuff. All that stuff, yeah. For updates. And uh, send us your comments. If you have any questions or comments about any of uh, the babble you just heard, uh, you know, let us know. Thanks. Later.